All right, everyone, tonight I thought we could look at scallops. Um, I'm gonna read the general scallops first because this is packed full of fascinating things. And these are what scallops look like in general. They're very iconic, I'm sure you've seen them. Okay. A scallop shell typically has strong radial ribs and wing-like hinges called ears. When the shells gape, eyes can be seen between sensory tentacles around the edge of the mantle. The eyes do not perceive images, but can detect shadows. Unlike most bivalves, scallops are often free-swimming animals that move through the water by clapping their shells to expel water. An exception is the rock scallop, which, after a brief free-swimming stage, cements its shell to hard objects. Both types of scallops are typically encrusted with sponges. Four of the common scallops can be seen in the shallow waters of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, if you feel like it, I recommend doing a Google image search for scallops because you can see really cool pictures of what it looks like, what they're talking about with like the eyes and the sensory tentacles around the edge. Um, I still remember the first time I saw a picture of a scallop like that and it's so cool. I also love that scallops swim, which is, as I say, unlike most bivalves. So all those like Disney cartoons where there's like scallops swimming through the water, like they, they do swim. They, they do actually do that. Um, we're going to look tonight at the spiny pink scallop, this critter. I know it's a little hard to see that photo. It's, it's honestly about that hard to see here. It's a very dark photo. There are better photos on Google, I have learned. Latin name, Calamus hastata, named so in 1843, also called the pink scallop, the Pacific pink scallop, and the swimming scallop, which seems confusing since they all swim. Size, they can be three and a quarter inches high, or eight centimeters and so high. I don't know which dimension they mean by that. They range from 60 degrees north to 33 degrees north, the Gulf of Alaska to San Diego, California. They live on rocky reefs in shallow water from 7 to 495 feet, or 2 to 150 meters. Description, almost circular shells, margin broadly fluting or undulating, variable in color and sculpture, coarse wide primary ribs with strong spines and several riblets between deep squares bishel notch, typically encrusted with sponges. I think that little section reads like a poem. I think it's beautiful. Comments. Species can swim when disturbed or when threatened by predators. Edibility. Abundant on rocky reefs at 60 feet, 18 meters, and deeper, and is fished commercially by divers and fishermen using drags from a small vessel. The scallop is usually steamed open and served whole like a clam. I was wondering, when it said using drags, that made me think, is this bottom trolling? So I did some Googling, and it seems that it is bottom trawling, uh, which is generally agreed to be very, very bad for everything, including fisheries. Um, and so I looked up a little bit more and found the Seafood Watch page for the spiny pink scallop. And they, I learned a lot about this. They think it's actually totally fine because there are only a couple boats that fish there. Um, but the more interesting thing I learned was that their scale is zero to five, and five indi or zero indicates very poor performance, and five indicates that the fishing operations have no significant impact on the thing they're measuring. Um, and so the effect of the fishery for pink scallop, the spiny pink scallop, is a 2.74 on the habitat and ecosystem. So like halfway between very poor and is not bad. Um, and it is overall recommended score is 3.56, which you might think is a bit low, uh, lower than you'd want since five is, this is not bad for things. And it's a 3.56, but apparently that still is within the threshold for a green best choice. So, um, this video started being all fun about how scallops are these magical little swimmy things with cool eyes. That's still true. But apparently also, really read up on your Seafood Watch stuff there. Um, they, I'm sure they are doing their best, and I'm sure that I have questions about how they are evaluating and 
what criteria lead them to endorse or not endorse things if they're saying something that does bottom trawling is a best choice. Questions? Anyway, here's one more photo that you can't see very well of the spiny pink scallop. This little swimmy fella.